Linen during service. In this lesson, we'll look at three sets of skills that involve linen during service. Firstly, how to replace an overlay during service. Secondly, how to refold a guest's napkin when they have left their seat. And thirdly, we'll look at providing hot towels to guests. Firstly, replacing an overlay with guests in the dining room. When you are replacing a dirty overlay with guests in the dining area, it is fantastic if this can be done without the guests seeing the underlay. The underlay doesn't always look as neat as the overlay. Let's take a look at how to do this. Step 1. Take the two corners on the one side of the used overlay and fold the overlay back onto itself. Step 2. You can now place the clean, folded overlay onto the table. Step 3. Pull the used underlay back over itself to expose a bit of the overlay. Then pull the new overlay to cover the underlay. And lastly, step 4. You can repeat this step piece by piece until the new overlay completely covers the table. From here, you're ready to reset the rest of the table setting. Now let's look at refolding guests' napkins. Throughout their dining experience, the guest may sometimes leave the table. For example, to go to the restroom, have a cigarette, or take a phone call. Every time a guest leaves the table, it is exemplary service to refold their napkin and place it neatly onto their setting. There is one exception where you wouldn't simply refold the napkin. Take a minute to see if you can figure it out. You should remember from the rules of linen that napkins should never touch the floor because it's unhygienic. Often, when guests get up, their napkin falls to the floor. In this case, you'd remove that napkin and fetch a clean one from back of house, placing it on the guest setting as you would at the beginning of service. It also allows you to reset tableware where necessary. It is very impressive for a guest if they return to their seat to find that you have taken the care to refold their napkin beautifully for them. It is also very easy to do. To fold the napkin, simply follow these steps. Step 1. Pick the napkin up by its corners so that you touch it as little as possible. Step 2. Take a few steps away from the table. Step 3. Fold the napkin in half making sure that the hems are facing inwards. Step 4. You can then fold this in half again. Step 5. Fold it in half again, but this time lengthways. Finally, step 6. Fold the napkin in half one more time, in the same direction. You can now place the napkin neatly into the middle of the guest setting. Let's look at another way to refold the napkin. Step 1. Pick it up by opposite corners, hems in, making a triangle. Step 2. Make sure that you are well away from any guests. Then swirl the napkin towards yourself, wrapping it up. And lastly, step 3. Bring the two ends together and place the napkin onto the guest setting. Now let's learn about hot towels. For some dishes, such as ribs or chicken wings, guests will use their hands to eat. Often a napkin isn't enough to remove the grease and sauce from the guest's hands without leaving a stickiness. If this is a standard at your establishment, you should provide the guest with a hot, moist towel to wipe their hands and face when they are enjoying this type of food. Whichever way you present the towels, it is important to keep the hot towel clean and hygienic. Touch it as little as possible, like with a napkin. If your establishment doesn't use hot towels, you can provide the guest with a finger bowl of warm water and lemon. Make sure that the water is warm enough to remove and dissolve any greasy sauce, but not so hot that it will burn the guest. Well done on finishing this lesson on linen during service. Good luck!
Table Decor. By now you have gained thorough knowledge of cutlery, crockery, glassware and linen. All the basics that are placed on a standard table setting. So in this lesson, we're going to look at some pieces of table decor you might use at your establishment and the important points to remember for each. We'll be looking at salt and pepper, cruet sets, butter dishes, table lighting, flowers, table numbers, name cards and special reading material. Firstly, salt and pepper. The salt and pepper containers, whether they're shakers or bowls, must be full and perfectly clean. If you use salt and pepper shakers at your establishment, the holes of the shakers should be unclogged. There's no use in the guest getting salt and pepper but not being able to shake the seasoning onto their food. Adding a few grains of rice to the salt shaker also helps for the salt not to clump. Make extra sure that the lids of the salt shakers are on tightly. It would absolutely ruin the guest's experience if they tilt the shaker and the lid falls off, spilling salt all over their food. The kitchen would need to redo the dish, plus the other guest's meals might also need to be remade or kept warm. Salt and pepper can also be served in bowls. If this is the standard at your establishment, you should ideally serve each item with a small spoon so that guests don't have to stick their fingers into the bowl. Imagine all the germs collecting in the bowl if guest after guest, table after table, sticks their fingers in the bowl. If you do not serve these bowls with spoons, be sure to replace the salt and pepper after each setting so that each table gets a new serving. Next, cruet sets. A cruet is a container commonly used to serve olive oil and balsamic vinegar. So a cruet set is a set of olive oil, balsamic vinegar or other food accompaniments including salt and pepper or other condiments such as ketchup. All the bottles in a cruet set must be clean with no buildup. The cruets of olive oil and vinegar often have a spout with a stopper. Ensure that the stoppers are clean and clear with no buildup. Any condiments, such as ketchup or mustard, should either be decanted into smaller container or bowl, or served in miniature form. This looks neater and daintier on the table. Now, butter dishes. Butter can be served in a number of ways and in different dishes, such as silver dishes, ramekins or glass plates. Whichever dish you use, it must be clean and well presented. No reusing of butter servings. Imagine if the guest wants to butter their beautiful bread, only to see the butter has already been used by a previous table. Also ensure that the butter is spreadable by the time it reaches the guest. This means that you must take the butter out of the refrigerator before service. A good rule of thumb is to take it out 30 minutes before service, depending on the temperature in the kitchen. If your kitchen is very hot, it may melt before service, so remember to check with someone who has experience in the kitchen. Table lighting A light on the table, such as a candle or lantern, is an elegant source of soft light and will add to the atmosphere in the dining area. Lanterns should always be clean, filled with oil and polished where appropriate. Also ensure that the candle or lantern is lit before the guest arrives. If the candle is only lit once the guest is seated, it creates the impression that you didn't prepare for their arrival. Candles must be clean and new at the beginning of service, that is, not burnt down halfway. If a candle is already melted halfway when service starts, it will probably be burnt out by the middle of service. Now, flowers. If there are flowers on the table, they must be fresh. So remember to check the flowers before service and replace those that have wilted. Next, table numbers. If you use table numbers at your establishment, they should be clean and placed where they are visible. Ensure that you know the standard at your establishment about which direction the table number should face. Now let's look at name cards. You may be required to place name cards on each setting for some functions 
or special occasions. The cards are usually placed above the setting. However, depending on the occasion and the style of the card, this may differ. The important thing is to ensure that they are all placed consistently and uniformly, and are clean and neat. Finally, special reading material. Your establishment may have some special reading material, such as additional information about the restaurant or the area. If so, ensure that you know where to place the material and, as always, make sure that the material is clean, neat and placed uniformly. Can you remember all eight key areas when it comes to table decor and accompaniments? They are salt and pepper, cruet sets, butter dishes, table lighting, flowers, table numbers, name cards, and special reading material. Ensure that you know exactly which of these are on the tables of your establishment and how to place them. Good luck!